Hi, this is Josh from Over the Shoulder Coding, and I'm responding to a question by Afsal Ahmed. Sorry if I got your name wrong. And he's asking about uh, a problem where you're adding the integers in an array to find the sum of its elements. And I think he's referring to this hacker rank problem, simple array sum. So in simple array sum, you're given an input array AR, and you're asked to print out the sum of its elements. So if AR equals 1, 2, 3, then 1 plus 2 plus 3 equals 6, so we should return 6. And the input that we're given is two lines. The first line is an integer n denoting the size of the array, and the second line contains the n integers representing the array's elements, and they're separated by spaces. And the sample output here should be the sum of the six elements, which is 31. And the solution is uh, to iterate over each one of these elements in the array and add them to a different sum variable that will start at zero and return that sum variable after we've gone through the whole array's elements. Now, when we look at the code that Hackering has provided us, uh, they're already parsing the input from the two lines. So they take in the first line and get the count, and then they take in the second line and they call strip and split, which is going to split it into elements, and then they're going to cast it to an integer and put it into a list. And so for us, that it makes it so much easier because we know that we're going to have a list of integers or an array of integers to deal with. Um, then they're going to call the method that we need to implement, simple array sum, with the array. Uh, and when we return the result, they write that out to the output stream that they're going to test against. And that's basically it. So just to make sure that we can iterate over this array and we're getting an array, uh, we can write print r or for element in r print element. And so we'll print out the array and print out each element to make sure that HackerRank is parsing it correctly. So this is their input, the expected output. We obviously got the wrong answer, but the important thing is to see that AR is going to be an array of these six elements, and we can iterate over these elements and use them to get the sum. So let's, let's code this up. And the first thing we need to do is to have a sum variable that we're going to initialize as zero, and that's going to be the running total. So for each element in the array, we're going to add it to the sum. So we're going to use plus equals to basically do sum equals sum plus element, the value of the element. Um, but plus equals is just a more elegant way and concise way to write it. And so then when we're done adding all the elements to the sum, we're going to return the sum and HackerRank is going to print it out for us here uh, as the result. So let's run this code. Great. Uh, Pass the test case, we got 31. So let's go ahead and submit it. Awesome, we passed all the test cases. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you want to see me solve other problems, please comment down below and link me to the problem by giving me the URL so I can show you how I solve it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.